Welcome to Wayne's Weird World. These I found sitting over on a bench with some other things. These are the little bulldogs from Pliny. And this one, you can just see, it's starting to shoot. Okay. This is where they come from. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's real lightweight, okay. Let's see if we can show you. Where was that? I saw it just a few minutes ago. Is that one of them? Yes. There they are. Little ball bells. From Pliny. What do you do with them? Well, most of the time, you leave them in the pot, they look after themselves. But every now and then, you'll find one loose, and if you want to propagate, this is what you do. Okay, let's move that little bit out of the way. That's a bit of a lump. Now these other ones, they don't necessarily drop little bulbs in the same way. But you can see here, I'm not sure, you can see the, the root starting up to grow out. This is the old bulb, that will die off, and then these become the new bulbs. Here you can see how the old bulbs wither up. Ooh, look! Ha-ha! We do have a little ball bill. Where was it? There it is. See? All I'm going to do here is just move some of the mix away. Let it nestle in. And it will be just fine. See, so here's another secondary bulb right there. Yep, it'll be just fine. So, each year, in theory, you'll get two or sometimes three secondary bulbs and the main one will die off. That's the theory. This one has lots of little ones. Just cut the flower off, but leave, I leave the base. I'll leave the base. So I just cut the flower off. You could cut it down further, but I don't. Because sometimes that will also produce a little bell bill. So I only cut off, I'd usually just cut them off about here. Because that can form a seed pod. Sometimes a little ball bill. See, these could be pulled out and you could put them into another pot. But this pot's not too crowded yet, so I'm not going to bother. All right. What do we do? Potting mix. Small pot. Fill it good. Fill it up fairly well. And this is my own mix. There's gravel in there, fine pine bark, and the fines from the orchid mix. Very open draining. Free draining is what you want. But remember, Pliny's are terrestrial orchids. Now, let's see if I can get this over closer to the camera. Bamboo meat skewer? Ah, <laughs> yes, 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 yes. This is all I do. Oh, it's going to slide around. Just wiggle them in. Most of the time, now that has a root on it, so I don't want to break that off. So, 
pop that one in a bit more gently. These, I oftentimes have to do them with tweezers because they're so fine. But just take them, wiggle them in. Then I'm going to cut the hair off with a pair of scissors because if I move the silly pot, it's very, very easy to disturb them. Where is it? Surgical scissors. It's very, very easy to disturb them if you bump that hair. So I just cut it off. Yep, that's it. Wayne's Weird World, propagating pleonies. All right. Another one. Oh, 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 not quite. Not quite done. Label time. <sighs> it was spring yesterday and the day before. Now the clouds have come over, the wind has come back up. Feels like winter. Eh. But it's Tasmania. Cheers. Wayne's Weird World, Pleonies. Yep, quite nice. And they thrive on neglect in the garden, as long as the chooks don't dig them out. And the blackbirds, see up.